All right, I pressed the going live button. That means I'm going to go live. All right, YouTube did it. There we go. Hello. I'm here. And I was definitely ready for stream further than five minutes ago. There we are. Okay. So we're here at the last DLC. I don't know why this game got three DLCs, but <laughs> I'm doing I'm doing one, I'm doing them all. In cold land. Yo, Sam. Which I am physically very cold, so this is just like a negative reinforcement for me. If anything, I almost want to turn on my Xbox just to act, act as like a space heater in my room. All oh, right. That's an ominous. I I think I actually will listen to the instructions because if you go in there, there's an invisible dog, and I I I only fight visible dogs. Three DLCs foreshadowing DS3. So true. We should have known. I just, I just almost reached up to my screen because I was like, my screen is covered in like something. Oh, hello. But that's just how this DLC looks, I guess. Okay, they're just. <laughs> were you just waiting in line? What? That's the first step of the night. I do not watch WWE. I hope everybody's doing good. I just ate some soup because I didn't have time for anything else. It was the decision of do I... I had like three options. It was like, do I eat the quick soup which I can just, you know, toss in the microwave and then start hit start stream. Or do I make something that takes longer and either, like, don't stream or delay the stream? And you know what? I chose the quick soup. And it was very okay. So don't say I never sacrifice anything for, for the stream. <laughs> It was pretty good soup, though, for, for just being, like, out of a can. Let me get out of here and take a sip. I, Out of all the DLCs, I think I remember the layout of this one the least. Just being completely real. Can soup can be good. It can be good. I regret saying that. Oh, that's so... So, when I combo these guys, the stagger from me hitting them makes my next hit whiff, which is a lot of fun. <laughs> Very fun. So I'm gonna have to take that into account. I could just run past them, I guess, but then I don't know what I'm looking at after that. And there is there is an item in this DLC that I desperately want, and I don't necessarily know where it is. So I kind of want to be a little thorough, at least until I find it. But I feel... On, on the topic of canned soup, I feel like sometimes... Like, it's a risk to try a new canned soup. What the fuck? Um, sometimes, it's like a gamble. Like, sometimes you just get, like, the most garbage soup you've ever eaten, and sometimes you're like, this is surprisingly good, considering it's just been sitting here in the shelf for, like, six months. So I have, like, my rotation, and I, I only stray from that if I'm, like, really desperate. What's the name of the trusty axe? 
It's been with me since the first stream. I don't know, somebody say a name. And that'll be its name. Oh, they can just chuck that at you, huh? Is cereal cold soup? I think, by definition, yes, but like, culturally, no, you know what I mean? Garrett? Okay, that's this axe's name, <laughs> then. I don't want I don't want to use my good life gems for these enemies. They're not they're not worth that. Where did, wasn't there another guy? He just he just went home, I guess. Oh, maybe that's him. Can I do this? Oh, I can. Okay, so if I stagger them far back, that the regular hit can't won't hit, then a heavy will hit. Or I could just keep swinging. What the fuck? Who? What is this shit? <laughs> Who did this? <laughs> Sorry, you can't take this elevator. It's full of coffins. Normal, sane video game. Yeah, that guy's gonna die. Just, that's just how it is. In another Dark Souls game, I would maybe trust the, like, you know, random person that's not hostile to you laying on the side of the road. In Dark Souls 2, that person will kill you, will get up and kill you later 100% of the time. But in addition to the hand axe, I do also... I've got this crossbow if I need it. It took me way too long to realize that you could use a crossbow at level 1. Can't see shit in this DLC. <laughs> and this is to be I mean this is how snow like uh, like a snowy area actually looks in real life. I'm just I'm Oh. Not sure I'm a fan of being like face so harshly with that reality. Jeez. How long how far will you guys chase me? Up the stairs? Okay, there, there's the limit. <laughs> okay, sick crossbow shot. Let me just try one of these. That seemed to do the trick a little better. But yeah, I do think that cereal is soup. It's just you can't say that with like without sounding like an insane person, you know what I mean? It's one of those. I'm in danger. God, it double hit. Yeah, I don't think they go past this door. Getting walled by two dogs. There we go. You know what, I think, so the item that I want to find in this DLC is called, I think it's called like the Vessel Shield. I think I remember where it is actually. And I don't think it's in this area like at all. It might be good to run past some enemies, I don't know. So I remember this area not being fun. <laughs> I remember there being some bullshit in this zone, and I don't remember what it is. Probably all these guys. Let me just... Just don't mind me. Oh, that's, that's a ledge, I see. I, 
I live that. Oh. That's not there anymore. Where do I go from there? Probably, probably up there? Can I like sneak up with, without any of these guys noticing? Just kind of sneak on past you real quick? Oh, no stagger, huh? Here we go. Is this where I go through? I see. I, thought, I legit thought that was a fog wall, but that's just how strong the like, snow effect is. What the fuck is going on here? I was kind of hoping this would be like a bonfire or something. Through, uh, through the wall? My spells don't go through walls. Just saying. What the fuck is up with these guys? Are, are you peaceful? Am I like an asshole for killing you? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I expected from that message. <laughs> Maybe it's secretly a really helpful cryptic hint. You seem very vulnerable to the walk around to the right strategy. Does work on like two thirds of enemies in this game. Is this anything? Half expected some like boulder trap to come in and roll me over there. Adventures of Sly and Garrett the Axe. I'm, I'm lost in this TLC right now, I'm not gonna lie. I guess I have to go through here and then up to the left. Oh! Hello. I didn't realize you were coming with. I will, yeah, snow is just this whole DLC, I think. I think there's some fire at the end, so that's neat. Oh, I see, it's a whole gank squad, in that case. Ow. Okay, I think the dogs probably gotta go first. Skyrim again. I think this Skyrim had- I feel like Skyrim had less snow. Skyrim was just a lot of gray, you know what I mean? There was snow, I guess. But I know a lot of people uh, kind of digged on Skyrim's art style, but I thought it- I think it's still kind of neat. I don't know. Not everything has to be like super colorful and vibrant if that's not like the type of area you're trying to represent. But I guess it did come out in that time in games when everything was like brown and desaturated. You know what I mean? <laughs> that like 2008 through like 2000, I don't know, 12 probably. Everything was just like very dark and brown and not colorful. I see, I don't have the time for that. I actually never felt like Skyrim. Skyrim was definitely going for a more realistic art style than, like, say, Oblivion. 
But it didn't. I never felt like it was actually go trying to have like a realistic art style. Like, you know, it wasn't going for like photorealism. He just left. <laughs> Back. But I do think at least Oblivion's landscapes, maybe not its characters. Oh wait, does this work? Oh, I, I thought I was. Hang on. I think that, I bet there's an angle I can get here where I have cover on him, but he doesn't have cover on me. You know what I mean? Oh, he he doesn't even know where I am. He's just gonna take it. <laughs> like at a glance, Oblivion looks incredible. When you look closer, maybe not as much, but I wonder if these enemies like become aggro later and they're just calm for now. Pull back in short try by bonfire? Does that mean don't go this way or there is a bonfire this way? Oh, hello. I don't know what that guy's deal is. It probably means there's a bonfire this way. Is there one down here? I feel like I remember there being one down here. I don't see it, which scares me. I'm gonna look... That seems like a one-way drop. I'm gonna check this way a little. <laughs> what is it? Every every once you get to DLC three, every single message is like <laughs> middle school humor. It's great. Right, tongue ahead. Oh. How did I not see this? It was... There's no way it wasn't on screen. Like, oh, is there a bonfire down there? Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> well, that's some amount of progress. God, you'd think with all the adaptability stacking gear I have, I could roll through that. Although, to be fair, even with that, I have the adaptability of, like, a level 10 character. Okay, I'm not denying that I did that I that I like didn't get hit by that, but that hitbox came out like early, early, right? I figured I could get another hit out. Forgot what happened with my computer after the incident from last stream. Okay, so what I'm about to say may or may not make sense, but the way that my capture card works is there's there's the capture card and it interfaces with a program called the stream engine and the stream engine then sends the video to OBS and the reason that I had that I had to like end the stream last time sick backstab by the way was that with my capture card like had some issues and that caused the stream engine to break so the capture card was like fine but the stream engine lost its connection to OBS basically which there's no, like, easy way to get it to reconnect without just closing OBS and reopening it. So... Last night, I installed some drivers and shit, and I... After, like, half an hour, I think I found a way to get my capture card to, to go talk to OBS directly, and now you can ignore the stream engine bullshit. Which wouldn't necessarily inherently fix any of the capture card problems, but it would make it like 100 times easier to, uh, to like troubleshoot them on stream. It would basically make it so I wouldn't have to like stop stream t to fix any issues I have. 
So that's the gist of it. And hopefully that works. We'll see you next stream when I stream Spider-Man again, if that works. I'm just gonna go. there was another one. <laughs> I heard it. I heard him from off screen. Bonesaw is so ready. Bonesaw has never been more ready than this moment. He loves the snow. <laughs> going, huh? He's in movie theaters this year? Damn. I have to, I have to remind myself that 2024 was this year. Just now. We're like almost halfway done with this, with this vision. I'm still just like... <laughs> Does not open from this side. Confirmed Dark Souls game. You can sip? Only I'm allowed to do that. I bet this guy's like really easy to just chain backstab actually. Like that. It's funny you say that, Zoki, because I did make that. I made that meme, and I have a video file that's literally just that meme, but with, like, the, the last boss of this game photoshopped in. But I'm too afraid to play it on screen, because I, I feel like 15 seconds of Toby 1 would get me copyright hit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, that's the bridge that I started on. You're coming over, aren't you? Let me just backstab chain you real quick. <laughs> Average Dark Souls 2 Lance user. He's fine. He's fine in there. I'll come back later. Why is my brain telling me I'm about to be invaded? I've got- there's some, like, memory from when I first played this, like, a decade ago that's like, you get invaded here. Other than that, I don't remember anything else. Is this an actual working elevator? Uh, you know what? I bet this is the elevator that's full of coffins. I bet I'm, yeah, I'm moving it out of the way so I can go downstairs and actually get through there now. That's what the coffin elevator's for. <laughs> they just lay there for a second, like, god damn it. Every time you do that, they just, there's like that extra second where they're sitting there. I know that feeling, you're just, like, if you, like, fall off the swings or something as a kid, you just have to, like, kind of lay there for a second. Think about your mistake. Oh, 
Oh, this is a one-way drop. All right. What could possibly be bad down here? Be wary of woman. Oh, this must be where you get invaded then. <laughs> I think there's like a witch lady who invades you. Oh, maybe that's the woman they were talking about. Sorry, lady, I said I would do all bosses, so I don't really have a choice. Okay, now I can go fight that boss once I'm once I actually get back there. Who are you? Hello? <laughs> he was just standing there. Wait, does this work? Is there anything you can do about this? <laughs> okay, let's actually fight. Or not. Oh, I see he's going to sip. Did I kind of out damage that just with my crossbow? Easy. Who the fuck was that guy? <laughs> what was he doing here? He didn't look anything like the other enemies. There's an actual fog wall here. Find a bonfire, perfect. Now I can go fight that boss. So there's three bosses in this DLC. And this is the one that I'm not as worried about, so if this goes well, then that'll be great. <laughs> If I have trouble with this one, that's a really bad sign. I remember this one being pretty easy. Let's find out. Damn, she really does not want you here. there. Okay, I do pretty decent damage at least. It's kind of cute. It is- I- I agree. I see. You gonna give me time to sip? Oh, generous. Seems like if I just go back here this attack can't hit me. Yeah, you just go behind it. Another life gem. Ow. Oh, okay. <laughs> I gotta figure out uh, the tell between there's like the shockwave roar and the one that summons the projectiles because you have to do completely different things to avoid. Each of them. <laughs> you go the pss, pss, pss. And I have no idea if my mic picks that up. This is the problem. We're trying to fight it. We have to treat it like a cat and just like feed it and give it toys. 
We're, this is not how you treat a cat. You don't come to the cat. The cat comes to you. Bonesaw has no idea how to pet a cat. He just, like, chases after it. Which then just makes it hate him. catnip so I don't actually know what catnip is I've had this thought a few times I think that's the shockwave yeah. is catnip like actual drugs for cats am I dead from that grab attack no, I love that I didn't realize he had a grab That creature, it's an endangered species. It's about to be a hell of a lot more endangered in a second. As soon as I get a chance to heal. Oh, that was too early. This might take a few tries. He's kind of like a, a lion more than just like, like a saber-toothed tiger or something. People call it cocaine per cats. Yeah, like... But it's just like a plant, right? Yeah, it's like an herb. Growing up, I thought catnip was just like... You know, they just really liked it. I didn't I didn't think it had like a... Some sort of like... You know, change in their brain activity when they took it. I guess I could try poison on this guy. He's probably weak to poison. He's probably vulnerable to poison in some sense, but I kind of want to just try hitting it a, at least once more. I like that big slam attack. I don't like that big slam attack, actually. It's my least favorite attack. I forgot that. <laughs> okay. Are the spike... I wonder if the spike placement is random there, or if there's, like, always a safe spot. Because if there's not always a safe spot, I'll probably have to back up. Either way, let me let me change the build up and get some spells going. Let's see, what do I swap out? Probably this. You know what? You try fireball and poison mist. I don't think I need dual poison this time. Is this a human? Probably not. <laughs> I feel like Masterless Glencore is not a name that like a normal human being would name their Dark Souls character. <laughs> That's... That's some AI behavior right there. That could have started better. Okay, so when he does that... Spike placement honestly looks random to me. To risk it? Did not work, okay. It's gonna take more than that to get him poisoned. good because I have more than that. If I can get in a spot where I can punish. Uh. It's the big shockwave. This is like the dog in Elden Ring. Elden Ring has a few dogs. This is kind of, there's one that's kind of like this in Elden Ring. I can think of. I'm so dead. 
Unless Life Jump can heal fast enough, but I, yeah, I don't think it can. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure something out against this. So later in this DLC, there's a boss fight that's basically just two of these. So <laughs> me, me kind of struggling against one is gonna. That's gonna be interesting later. That's probably the only boss left that I'm, like, truly afraid of. I'm just gonna try hitting it, to be honest. Like... I feel like poison is, like, not the way he's, like, too fast for it. Oh, Spider-Man would... Spider-Man would not have any issue with this guy. <laughs> Unless he, like, got hit by the AoE blast attack or something. But even then, he has spider sense. He can just leave. A lot of his wind-ups, like, don't make sense to me yet. Like, I need to learn how long to wait. <laughs> Dropped up a script for a Toby 4 movie and it was good until you woke up. That's just... That's dreaming. <laughs> I had, a, I had a dream last night. I'm trying to remember what it was. I remember I was back in school. But all my friends who I know now who were... Who, like, we didn't go to school together were there. It was, like, high school. I don't think anything else interesting happened. There, there was one point in the dream... Yeah, yeah, there was one point in the dream last night where... I was, like, looking for a shirt. I was like, oh no, I need to find my shirt. Or else everybody's gonna see that I don't have a shirt. And then I realized I had been wearing it the whole time. <laughs> I was... I... Okay, that was not good. But <laughs> I was... I had just been wearing the shirt the entire time. I was like, oh, I'm so stupid. Is it bad to say you found Melania easier than Ra Radabeast? It's not bad to. I would just say you're not in the majority there, including me. Too many stuff the body panels off your car. Damn, can't have shit. Took my rear passenger <laughs> windows. How do you even do that? I feel like it's got to be so much, like, effort to steal somebody's passenger windows instead of just, like, breaking them. Okay, you know what? I think those... Those ice like panel things might not be actually entirely random. That's a shockwave, yeah. Can't stick too close to him or he'll do that, which is unfortunate. So every other attack that he has is like super easy to dodge close to him. Yeah, I feel like the placement of those ice things might be consistent. Shock! I swear that wind-up looks just like the like ice missiles attack. I need to learn. I need to do my diligence. Uh, nope. Those placements are not consistent at all. Never mind. I was wrong. We're 
We're gonna find out if this is a safe place. It's not. That's a wind-up? He's not just turning around. I thought he was, like, turning around. I'm curious about Bonesaw's diet in this game. What does he eat? Well... Let's see. I assume it's just life gems. He just eats... These are... I imagine these are, like, jawbreakers, you know? They kind of look like just very rough jawbreakers. For my dad and Eddie. And then there's an all oh, these the crimson water that looks so tasty look at that that looks like mountain dew code red probably drinks those Which i have a ton of those i should maybe use those at some point I've had one of those common, not quite Ed Ed Netty size, but I have had like the a jawbreaker like the size of like two fists, in you know, uh, diameter. When I was a kid, that, that was like a very formative memory. Oh, nice whiff, dude. Lock on. How am I supposed to fight without my lock on? That's the roar. Alright, I'm learning. It, please. Thank you. Oh, we're learning. I rolled that too. No. Okay, that was a that was a good one. We're getting there. Seen the Mountain Dew named a flavor after Red 40. My take on Mountain Dew Code Red is it's not like a very good flavor by itself, but it it is like if you just want to like turn some other soda into a cherry soda, it's great for doing that. You just like mix a little bit of it in. Totally but surely. Yeah, you just gotta you just gotta learn the the attacks. I feel like especially in this game, like, somehow, like, reacting to attacks is worse in this game, even though the pace is overall slower. I don't know how that works, but... I guess it's just because your dodge is worse. I have a vanilla Coke. More power to you. I don't think those are for me as much. Not a great start. I'll take a sip. Stamina. Yeah, if you 
just run around behind him, those things can't do anything to you. You want to just keep doing this, I'm fine with it. He's just gonna back up and then lunge at me? That's fine. Those attacks are easy. <laughs> Might be dead. I whiffed and I was out of stamina. Oh no, the statue! <laughs> wait, 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 hang on, pause. Okay, resume. Can't miss those, dude. Oh, I'm getting hit by this, yeah. I thought it was the missiles. enough time to run away. It's okay, I'm actually fine with this. Damn, I'm in like a stalemate right now. I need that to actually start doing damage. Okay, this is, this is a good pattern. Oh fuck, my hand axe. Wait, 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 I can fix this. Whoa, okay. <laughs> that's the first hitbox of the of the of the fight that's got me with a little bit of a question mark on my on my head, you know? It's metaphorical, but it's there. I wanna have the sweetness of Mountain Dew or Coke, but with without the billion grams of sugar. You can always do fake sugar. And then it'll just taste kind of gross. In my opinion, if you like diet stuff, that's fine, but not for me. I don't know. I've just I've never I've never tasted a diet soda that that was for me. I'm not huge on regular Mountain Dew, but a lot of the flavors are pretty damn good. I could see it being too sweet for some people, though. I've got a bit of a sweet tooth, but it's like especially for drinks. This is working. I'm very surprised that hit me, though. <laughs> oh, damn, I got away with that. I like that lunge attack a lot. It, it, that's a very fun attack to dodge. I'm getting hit by that for sure. That attack from like the right angle just 
straight up though. <laughs> it just looks like a, he's turning around to me. It doesn't look like he's doing an attack. Yeah, I don't know anything about artificial sweeteners, but it, it's one of those things where it's like, even if I thought it tasted good, I'd still be a little suspicious. Like, that's too good of a deal if it, if it tasted good. Tell me zero calories. Gotta set it on the openings, yeah. Yeah, I can definitely get this guy. It's proving slightly tougher than I thought, but I, I feel like I've got it like 80%. 80% of the time I've got it down, you know what I mean? So I'll go up, I'm here. Glad to have you here. Maybe I shouldn't send it as much on the openings. Maybe I need to chill out a little bit sometimes, because when I go for two hits, like half the time I get hit. I think I just need to take my hit and get out. Because if something works 60% of the time all the time, that means the other all the time, 40% of the time, I'm getting hit. And when I get hit, I have like a... 30% chance to die, probably. <laughs> if not more, depending. I think I could probably wait to buff until I'm in the arena, because he really- he doesn't aggro until you're, like, way in there. I kind of wish he did after the first time. I kind of wish he would just come over and not make me run over there. Kind of rude, you know, to be sleeping when you're when your your guest is here like that. If he just sits there like that, then I can hit him. Again. You gotta watch out for that attack. Yep, that's when you hit him a second time, is when he just sits there. I might start going for heavy attacks instead. I feel like that's a good compromise between one and two hits. Oh, I wasn't out of range. Oh. Okay, I'm safe. I thought that was the roar. Alright, we're doing good. I thought I was rolling through that. Sip. So far, so good. I don't need the repair powder for this. There we go. Look at <laughs> my axe's condition. I, I feel like one more hit and it's broken. 
Oh, I got it. Okay, there we go. Once I got the pattern down, that wasn't so bad. I am afraid for the dual dog fight later, but that one I got it. Oof. Rip to dog? Question mark? Cat? It's like a lion. Lion's more cat. <laughs> we tried distracting with the laser pointer. Maybe that'll work. I'll try that later. Either way, that's one down. Let me actually, real quick. Before I inevitably lose all these souls I got, let me go and buy some shit. That is definitely the easiest boss of the DLC. Or that DLC at least. Probably not all the DLC. Actually, I'm thinking... No, the easiest boss of the DLC is probably uh, in the first DLC, the poison one. One of those ones. Give me some ooze. But I think there's five bosses left in the whole game now. So I'm kind of excited about that. <laughs> Feels like the end is within sight. There's somebody I gotta talk to up here. To think Father could be bested. I mean, your cat wasn't that hard. Who are you? It was. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> Who are you? I'm <laughs> Bone Saw. God, he looks so sad. He does not give a shit about this. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, we gotta go fight chaos. I think. Yes. Absolutely. Neat. Does that break all the ice? Oh, it does. Okay. Do you have anything else to say? Yeah, you gotta... I'm definitely gonna go around and get all the knights. <laughs> There's no way I'm level 1-ing this with no assistance from them. That would be a gank squad like no other. What are we hosting of Ninjas of Madness for Flaming Ninja Watch Party? As soon as you find uh, the video? Sure. We'll do it. <laughs> you send me Ninjas of Madness 4 Flaming Ninja dot MP4? We're in. Is this a human? I can't even read this. Dark Dark Solis Dark Solison Jr. is his name. I think that's probably a real person. I don't think there's an NPC named that in this game. That vessel shield, this is what I've been after. So you throw this on. Doesn't matter that I can't use it. And then I throw on, where is it? This Mad Warrior Mask. 
And now my agility should be... It's 96, which means more iframe rolls than before. And I do look like an axe murderer now, but that's the price you have to pay. So I don't know how many iframes that gives me, but I, it's at least one more, maybe two more. Which is like... A decent amount, it, since it's based on 30 FPS. So now I gotta go out and find all the night guys. It's all living up to his name. Yeah, this... You see this guy going... <laughs> you see this guy enter the ring, that's Bonesaw. That's Bonesaw right there. Let me go... Yeah, we just gotta go... I don't remember... I think there's... Five knights you gotta... F you can find? Four or five? Something like that? And... The gimmick is... You find the knights in the world, and then they help you during the boss fight. I guess. And if you don't... Get them, you're in for, like... A 6v1. I'm not five knights. Yeah, no. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. That's like saying sus. Like, it just summons Freddy Fazbear to your house. Is this an illusory wall up here? Nope, pointless. You're right. I see. I have another idea for this room, actually. What if I just do one of these and don't come back? <laughs> Live nights. Holy night, Ardheim. You know that's not a real player because uh, the, the word night isn't censored. Just gonna oh there's one of the knights one of the five knights what's up okay that's one make it to 6 a.m you got this yeah <laughs> we're making it through wait Oh, is it because I got invaded? I can't go through here? Is the invader eventually going to come in, or...? Yeah, I... This is advanced smoke. I can't get through this. Guess I gotta go find that guy. Wherever he is. Door ahead? Are you sure? Oh! I expected that to just be a lie. There is a door ahead. I see him through- I see you through the wall there, you can come out. There we go. There's another one back here. We're <laughs> just going for the javelin throw world record. Where's the backstab? There it is. I found it. <laughs> it 
just gotta sit still until he decides to stand up. Bye. Is this anything back here? Doesn't appear to be. Oh, I see. What? You're, how are you gonna tell me that missed? I disagree. Are you a mimic? No. <laughs> These are just coincidental blood stains here. Nothing to do with that. The bow I'll never be able to use. Where is this guy that supposedly invaded me? <laughs> He's just hiding. Maybe I shouldn't have been fucking around. The squad's here. I'm surprised I'm alive. Okay, so I've done a lap now. And there's still, like, no guy here. Why is <laughs> Suncastle fighting Papyrus and Sands? Is that... Is this Papyrus? Is that what you're saying? Is that who this is? Oh shit, there's the guy. Hello. Oh, he's got boys. I see. I live these. Thank you, extra iframes. Is he going to sip? Yeah. Let me just... Okay, that did way more damage than this sip. Alright, I got him. <laughs> I forgot about that guy. <laughs> he just, like... Hides as a barrel. Goofball. Okay, that just leads back here. I don't think I want to go this way. I think I want to go the other way. Which I should be able to do now that the goofball's gone. I just realized these guys who were sitting down before are definitely awake now. Can you put bone saw in... Oh, wait. Wait. This is just here? Oh, I just did like a big loop-de-loop -loop for no reason then. <laughs> oh, well. I don't... I think you need to put a lot of things in big rigs over the road racing before you can put bone saw in. I don't know. Maybe start with gameplay. <laughs> Do 
game's a 10 out of 10. I mean, if you think about it, you can't have any flaws if you don't make a video game. That's a 10 out of 10 right there. I guess I go... I don't actually know where... Oh, wait, I do... No, I shouldn't I shouldn't have warped there. I'm going back. So I I'm going to need to find, it like, minimum three knights. Preferably, like, four. To do this boss. Driving through buildings with no consequences could be a real-life thing. I, I think there's usually consequences, which is, you know, that's why it's a great game. It's an, it's an escapist fantasy, you know what I mean? I'm just gonna head through here real quick. I may be in danger. I may be about to die in like a second. There's a ladder there. Give me the thing. Soul Flash, a spell I'll never use. Let me live. <laughs> nice try. I'm taking this shit and I'm getting the fuck out. I didn't need any of that, but I'm glad I lived to tell the tale. <laughs> the guy's so bad. He's like in awe at you because you can turn the car on. Do I want to be here? I'm actually not sure. I guess maybe like new paths have opened. I guess I could have gone the other way. Uh, let's just go this way and like see what's this way. At least it's clear and you can, like, see the video game now. Oh, wait, no, I want to go up the stairs. Oh, God. <laughs> the whole fucking squad's lined up to kill me. Gotcha. Assuming this is still a no-go. Oh no, this does open. Oh right, this is like a big room filled with chests, which I probably don't need. Nah, maybe I'll come back later. Not really allowed to like exist in a place for more than five seconds with this setup right now. I think about it, I didn't go that way. There's like a guy with a greatsword that way. I don't think I no, I went this way. This is chest. I think I have time to grab this. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Yep. No idea where I'm going at this point. I'm just running. I'm like, I'm committed. There's no turning back now. No matter where I go, there's gonna be 30 enemies behind me. Unless I go down the ladder and maybe they can't. Can you guys go down the ladder? I don't know if they can. This might be a reset. For them. I can take it a little slower now that I'm in. How are you going to tell me that whiffed? Wait, oh no, they can! Get me out. Okay, I was, I was so wrong, never mind. I gotta keep running. <laughs> no time to take any breaks. 
This is just a fucking Scooby-Doo chase at this point. There's, this is a big stretch of area. Oh wait, I, I know it's up here. Okay, okay. Shortcut elevator, I think. Where does this lead? Oh, I'm here. Which... Hang on, I'm gonna go this way just so I remember where here is. Because up here, this this is there's like a path back to this place, right? I'm the Scooby Snack. Oh shit. Okay, so it's it's this bonfire. Gotcha. Nice. So all that running away actually did something, and I'm pretty sure I'm right next to the next night. I mean, Scooby Snacks gotta be pretty good, right? I don't think that's a... that's not, It's not an insult to call somebody a Scooby Snack. If anything, it's a compliment. Look at that 15 FPS dog over there. Oh, that's right. This was the invader I was talking about before. <laughs> nice try. Oh, I see. It's actually a gank. Gotcha. Forgot to get they have flasks. Okay, I uh I can't stay here. That's why. <laughs> Well, now that I know that, um, I can deal with it appropriately. That's probably gonna have to be, like, a big zoning fight, I think. A Scooby Snack was a, an entire $5 foot long at one point. What does that mean? <laughs> what what did you mean by this? I I actually high key think the term them using the term five dollar foot long was like a double edged sword for Subway. Because now what's the that's the first thing that I think of when I think of Subway is five dollar foot long. It's like $10 to get a sandwich there now. <laughs> so when I go there, I'm just like, oh, okay, you know, I've got the $5 phone link back in my mind. I'm like, well, this feels just like a ripoff to me now. I don't know. And then I don't want to go there anymore. So I feel like while they got that initial marketing boost from it, like right now, it's doing damage to their brand, at least as far as I'm concerned. Wait, I can just kind of get her to come this way, and then I don't have to fight the knight over there? Well, that was easy. <laughs> In a 1v1, she's not so tough. Inflation's a bitch. It's... It's not just inflation. I saw a chart recently online, maybe some of you have seen it too, where it's like inflation compared to like how much fast food places have increased in price. And I forget what it was, but it was like since 2014 or something, like McDonald's doubled in price and inflation is up like 35% or something like that. And like a lot of other fast food places are in that kind of range too. So, it's not just inflation, they're just getting more expensive. I think I think they just think they can get away with it, I don't know. Maybe they're right. 
But I definitely don't eat as much fast food as I used to, which is probably just good. <laughs> right, that's night two, though. I have... So those are the nights that I, like, kind of remember vaguely where they are. <laughs> I do have an inkling of where to go for the next one, I think. Putting less drywall in the burgers. I would be surprised. I would be very surprised if they're giving you more food for the same order as they than they were in 2014. That would be a, a like a shock to me. Yeah, no, I remember back in college, I would go I would go to McDonald's and I would get like I would get, what would I get? I'd get like two double cheeseburgers and a fry and a drink, and that was like five, six buck range. I think now that I, and I mean, I haven't been to McDonald's in like months and months, but I think now that's probably like eleven, twelve dollars, something like that. Oh right, I, I can't go this way. So in that case, we need to go back to the bonfire. Yeah, no, it's it's wild. Fast food, fast food, like COVID hit them, and they were just like, we're about to pull, we're about to pull the most epic prank of all time, and then they just fucking doubled their prices. <laughs> And then they were like, got him. So I, you know, I'm a, I'm a proponent. Learn to make your own food. I mean, I'd say that having eaten a can of soup for dinner. But <laughs> but yesterday I made stir fry, so. And I can make, like, at least three other things. I'm kind of a chef. Exactly, will be. Big Smoke would be so disappointed. I don't know anything about that game other than Big Smoke's order. I've still never played a Grand Theft Auto game. Besides, like, an hour of GTA V. I don't know if it's my... I mean, it's definitely not entirely my imagination. I don't know how much of it is, but it does feel like I'm way better at rolling through attacks with this setup. Grilled cheese is good. Maybe not if you're lactose intolerant, I guess, but, you know. Okay. I think this is the point where I start running past enemies. And we just figure out where to go. Okay, this area is totally different without the ice. I do think that's a cool idea, is like, you run through the area once, and then you kind of run through it again, and it's different. That being said, I just feel like this part of the level has way too many enemies. <laughs> Yeah, like, now that this ice is broken, I can go, I can take this elevator. Tomato soup and grilled cheese, oh my god. I'm, like, not even hungry because I just ate, but I would fucking destroy some of that right now. That sounds so good. All these enemies. No, 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 no. I just, I just got like horrible memories from fighting these enemies. 
if at all possible, I'm gonna cheese them, because I remember these Sonic the Hedgehog motherfuckers just destroying your health. And I have significantly less of it than last time I fought them. Crossbow seems to do the trick, though. I just feel like I gotta, I gotta stay out of melee range. And I'll be fine. Broccoli cheddar soup? Yeah, I don't think that's... I'm not gonna say worse soup, because, you know... I just think I'm not... I'm, I've kind of expected one of these days to try broccoli and be like, Oh, that's actually good, and it hasn't happened. I see you over there. It's a three-shot kill with the crossbow. So as long as they don't catch me off guard, I should be fine. You have to season it properly. I've heard that. And I'm not trying to say that that's wrong, because I it can help for sure, as with any food. But I feel like a lot of foods where it's like, they need, you know, they need like salt and pepper and like seasoning and cheese and stuff, and it's like, do you like that food or you just do you just like salt and pepper and seasoning and cheese, you know? And I mean, oh fuck. Ah. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to die. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? There's foods like that, though, that, like, are kind of just a vessel for the good stuff. Like, I would say, like, saltine crackers are an example, where it's like, you know, I had some with my soup today, and they would... Oh, hello. They're not, like, necessarily... Um, I'm not there because I'm like, I really want to eat saltine crackers. I'm more like, this is just, like, a good soup delivery device. This seems to work. I don't know if that one shots me or not, so I'm being careful. He heals all oh, this fucker. Okay. His witch has got to go. Like that, that like ice witch. Can't stay here. The camera doesn't know what to do, but I think I got gotcha. you. Yeah, there we go. That was actually a secret ploy. So that I could get him into close range. You know, he fell for it. There's like a... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I gotta be careful. There's Sonic the Hedgehogs everywhere. That's not gonna work. <laughs> I prefer Mario. <laughs> oh shit, no, <laughs> wait. Yeah, see, they just fucking tear through your health. There we go. It is still kind of surreal to me that Call of Duty isn't, like, the most popular video game in existence anymore. What? Okay. You're- you're just spotting him out. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Alright, this might be a run-through type of area. I don't know if I want to, like, meticulously whittle down the hedgehog population in the local tundra anymore. But it's gonna take a while to even get there. It'll be fine. It'll be a nice little jog.
I could, in theory, like, try to go fight that boss now I have two of the knights, but I, I want at least one more, I think. Did Overwatch do that to COD? I don't think any, like, particular thing did that to COD. I guess you could say Fortnite was maybe the one. Oh, am I in trouble? I see. You can't just run through that willy-nilly, you gotta wait. <laughs> I wonder... Oh, I don't think there's like a better way to go than that. Keanu got casted as Shadow the Hedgehog. Good for him. I still kind of- I still kind of wish that uh, people didn't hate on the original like Sonic the Hedgehog design for the first movie. Because it would have been so fucking funny. If they just released it like that, you know what I mean? I don't know, maybe this is like a fucked up thing to say, but I'd, I'd rather have a funny Sonic movie than a good one. <laughs> like, funny as in like, it's funny that they made it like this. Alright, I'm running. I own Black Ops 3, but I've never played it. Like, I have it on Steam. I think, yeah, me and some friends were gonna play Zombies one time, and then we never did. Guess it's not too late, we still could. I never called the elevator back down. Alright, this might get a little sketch. Gotta remember to call the elevator down next time. Are they not coming? Guess not. As soon as they're like, oh shit, they went in the elevator. We're not allowed in there. Is it not safe to play Black Ops 3 anymore because of, like, hackers? They can just, like, get into your computer and steal all your bank accounts? Yeah, basically. Gotcha. Go, go, go. Oh, that's rude. Please. There's another one around the corner. Oh, there's nowhere safe here. And then there's like some goofball on the second floor of this building, I think. There's like a huge fucking goofball. Yeah, look at this guy. He like tries to be really nice and friendly. But he will betray you later, so I'm just gonna... He has so much health. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. I'm just gonna leave. The lever. <laughs> so, okay. I opened the gate. That's all I wanted. I don't think they'll come in here. That guy, he's alive in there. He's just, he's just gonna be a goofball. His whole gimmick is he, like, pretends to be friendly and then saps you in the back when you try to pull that lever, so... I think he's just gonna be... Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was talking about somebody who was listening. Yo, it's reskinned covetous demon! He's still here. Is there anywhere to go from here? I guess through here. Oh. Simply existing in an online server is beyond dangerous. Can you play, like, co-op zombies with your friends and be safe? I hope so. 
This place seems cursed. Oh my god, you're still here. <laughs> Please go home, dude. <laughs> I'm not interested. <laughs> he Does he just, like, not have an outer limit on where he can go? He can just go wherever? Not even private matches are safe? Oh, shit. Maybe I should just refund it. <laughs> I think I do have- I have zero hours played. That's fucked up. That's like really fucked up if not even private matches are safe. This is a cursed zone where the light of God does not shine. What the fuck is going on? Get me out. I can't believe I lived that. I see. Well, wait. If I remember correctly, yeah, there's, like, a snowball you can do. There's, they made, like, a fucking Cartoon Network snowball gimmick you can do here to run over all those enemies. And I... And it's probably my favorite thing in this, in this DLC. That snowball is going to kill these guys. Hopefully, if I can get there. played MW2 and got called a bunch of slurs. That is unfortunate. And also accurate to what it was like back then to play that game. That was just... I don't know. I'm not gonna say for better. For worse, that's how Xbox Live was. You take damage even for just being near them. Two of them? What if I just juke you? No! I got so far! I, it, I mean, I guess I did. I did unlock a shortcut. There was progress that life. I was just... I was hoping to make it all the way. I know where to go now. World at War Zombies? I never got to play that one. I played Black Ops Zombies, that was the only one. That was the- I only ever played three Call of Duty games. I played two, three, and Black Ops. <laughs> That's rude. Good sketch. Oh, especially if he's gonna take forever to get over there. Uh oh. Excuse me. <laughs> How did I live that? Alright, everybody into the lobby. Go, 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 go. Fuck, what are you doing here? Alright, I think that's all of them. <laughs> I almost just... If I had died of that, I would have... It would have been very funny, but also sad. I remember getting confused in like the mid 2010s when people say, would say 1v1 Neon Rust. I thought they meant the Rust, like the game Rust. Like that. I don't know if people still play that game. I thought that's what they meant.
All right, I made it through. That's like the hard part of the run through there. And now we do more running. And, oh god, I gotta go through this area again. I don't think I sent the elevator down either. can't be blocking the entrance like that. It's not cool. Alright, at least call the elevator down. Actually, hopefully they, they're not allowed in here. I think they're not allowed. Surprisingly generous design for this game. So, yeah, Bonesaw lost and... Rust 1v1, and this whole journey is his journey to atone for it. Right, this time I'm sending the elevator down. And I'm not gonna die to these guys. Probably turn this into a shooter again. Or I could just I could just roll better. Here we go. To the door. They kill me, that's fine. I mean, I still prefer they didn't, but the most important thing is getting this guy out of his damn seat. There we go. Okay, got him. The snowball down. It's gonna kill the guys. They're gonna kill me. Okay, I got them. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I won. That was a total victory. That's three of them. I could try the... I, I might try the boss with three. Because I don't actually remember where more are, and I can't remember if there's only four or five, but three is like a start. Might be able to get away with that. Plus it's a cool boss. I want to try it. Oh, you can actually see them here. Oh, wait, I have four. I don't have three. I have four. Are there only four? Or maybe there's maybe there's five. But I forgot you start with one, so I have I have four total. Yeah, let's give this a shot. All right, men, let's go. This is a genuinely, like, just a cool set piece, though. Like, the whole DLC is so white, and then you end up in here. If you have five, then one will remain to help you fight the king. I mean, that would be helpful. We'll see if I need it. <laughs> that was not a great start. I still got... They still just ganged up on me, those two. I am the fifth knight. Yeah. I don't remember where the fifth one is, is the only problem. 
Like I'm trying to remember where I think of like where I could go. That I haven't already. Anyway, I'm down to give this a few tries. I do love how, like, one of the... I feel like one of the only, like, actual rule of cool things that ever happens in Dark Souls is when you don't take fall damage because it's cool. That is, like, a consistent in the series. Like, every game has at least one moment like that's like that. Is there no backstab? I guess that might be too easy. Okay, that was that was that was going all right. I just need to not get caught. I during this playthrough, I learned the trick where if you're ever loading into an area, including after like dying, if you click in the stick to like center camera, it just like the angle gets fucked up and it will like clip through walls and shit. I never knew that. When you die, the knights are just chilling. They're like, well... I guess we better go back upstairs. <laughs> we gotta wait. Wait until they come back. Wonder if I should be like just kind of sniping. Oh, yeah, I probably don't have time to do that, especially if they're just they're just gonna ignore all the knights and go to me. Oh my, they're just... They do not give a shit about the other guys. Oh, there's more, more spawning. Okay, we might need the fifth knight. <laughs> At this rate. If it's gonna go like this. <laughs> That's not looking so hot. Is the offer for me to sing a Weird Al song still up? I don't remember that at all. <laughs> Time. That was probably worth it still to get that damage. Oh. Okay. I guess I could take a look around for the fifth night. <laughs> I said like 35 bucks. This is like way before you left a while. Hmm. I feel like right now, I need more than that. <laughs> Just being real, I, like I really don't want to sing a Weird Al song. Ask me, ask, ask me some other day. In the right mood, that deals up. I, that deals like I would do that. I don't think I'm in the mood right now. 
There are times when I have no shame, and today's not one of them. Is there a Weird Al Spider-Man 2 song? So there's another bond. There's two other bonfires that I'm missing. Somewhere. Let me try from this. I feel like I don't go through this way very often. Well, that it would have to be that one, I guess. I'd have to sing that. But yeah, but like I said, there there definitely are days where I would do that for thirty five bucks. I never I never found whatever that this is. I think there's stuff this way. Oh, you know what? I I know what's this way. It's locked. Okay, I need a key. But that's where the that's where the third boss of the DLC is, and a boss I think I've never beaten for very good reason. Is this anything? Is this a, just a dead end room with chests in it? Yes. I guess I never went this way. I kind of assumed there wouldn't be anything this way. <laughs> I don't know why I love that scream. Wait, does this work? Is this like lined up? No, there's no way it is. Although, I have an idea. That almost hit. Ow. Oh, he has a crossbow too? Who, who wins? Who wins the, the crossbow war? I feel like I win because I know how to strafe. This guy clearly doesn't. What the fuck? Okay, never mind. I, I thought we were having an honorable duel. Clearly not the case. Do you want to know what happens if I do this? Guy okay, just doesn't care that I'm here. It's just a chest? Durgo's hat? <laughs> Who the fuck is Durgo? Who's the range of bows? I see. I mean, they're just peaceful. How's the stream? It's going pretty good. Just big chillin'. I'm looking for that fifth frozen night. Goodbye. Okay, I might have to take this area slightly slower than I have been. Or I could just run through it again. But go like a different way. If there is one. No! <laughs> okay, I have one other idea for a place I could go, actually. Let me try that. After that, it might be time for Google. Because I want- I need to basically go- there's like, up here and there's a different path, but I, I can't- I need to approach that from the first bonfire. She <laughs> went, I just accidentally did a really good Nigel Thornberry. That was not what I was going for. 
Didn't realize it until after it went. Sometimes he's just in there. Do you remember the days of like 2012 when Nigel Thornberry was like the big meme? And it wasn't even... It was so pure. It was just Nigel Thornberry. He makes a funny sound. That's the meme. How's that gonna hit me? I feel like it's easier to just fight these guys than run past them, at least for this first bit. They're really not that bad. And it's around when these dogs show up that I think I start running. <laughs> Is there a game I haven't played yet that I want to stream? Um, I'm sure there are. Most, it, it has to be like a... Sp a special type of game for me to want to stream a first impression because usually like if it's like an important game that I want to play separate like by myself I usually you know I prefer to just kind of like chill a little more and you know really really take the game in plus I feel like I have more to say about a game on stream if I've played it before but I'm sure if you if I have definitely have thought of examples I just can't right now for some reason. I guess if the Elden Ring DLC counts, then that I'm not happy about what just happened. <laughs> I don't think South Park's stick, stick of Truth will be... I don't think that one's for me. I feel like you had to like, I don't know, if, I don't know if grow up's the word, but like you have to have like seen the show, and I have not. I've seen like half, probably half to a quarter of an episode of South Park in total. Yeah, and even the, the Elden Ring DLC, I'm going to play on my own before I stream as well. Like I'm going to play it properly on my you know, in normally off stream and then and then we'll bring Mr. Aziz in once I've done that. Which is honestly good timeline wise, because that gives me plenty of time to do to stream Dark Souls 3 at level one. And not like feel pressured to do it right away. And I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. I think I did figure out a solution to the issue from last night, or at least a way to troubleshoot capture card issues without turning the stream off. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm I. In theory, it works. Uh, we'll ju we'll just have to see how it, how in practice goes. You know what I mean? Like I did a tiny amount of testing last night, and in theory, I should be able to you know reset the capture card and do whatever I need to do without have without turning OBS off. Rude. Seemed like the first boss of DS3 and nothing else. DS3 is a great game. DS3 is by far my fourth favorite Souls like that from Soft is made. <laughs> if Sekiro counts. If not, then Phi Third. Is that right? That's pr actually that might not be right. I don't know. Point is, I, I like the game. I just wanted to joke to, jo to make a joke at its expense. I might be dead here. Oh, 
That's so rude what just happened to me. Please! I want to live. Oh wait, I need to go the other way. Oh, I need to go the other way. You don't understand. I need to go through here. Okay, okay. Ooh. I don't know what's this way. I just know that I haven't gone this way. I'm just gonna keep running in case the, the whole squad is after me. It's just an item. It's just the old bell helm. There's nothing I did all this for that. Alright, it might be Google time, assuming I live here. I think it's just these two. If I can just kill these two, then I can chill for a second. Saw looks chilly. Nah, he's look. He's he's got the mask on from wherever I did. I had to like farm this mask off stream, by the way. But it was it was worth it for more iframe rolls. So is this really all there is here? I was hoping there'd be like the last night would be here. All right. Ever gonna play the Spider-Man Four prototypes? I should do that. That's a good idea. Hang on, I'm I'm googling. Uh, what is it? Aleum Lois Knights. Lois Knight. Wait, are there only three? I thought there were four you could find. I'm going to ign.com. That's how desperate I am. There's one there. One there. One there. There's only th I got did I already get them all? I thought there was one more. One, two, three. No, there are four. Starting okay. Why did some of okay, so some of the places that I looked up said there were three for some reason, but apparently there's four. I think I need to watch a video. These these text descriptions, my brain does not work like this. Sorry, just a second. I'm a very fast video skimmer, this will not take long. Hopefully. I hope that I didn't just lie. This video appears to, uh... Not show all of them, though, is my problem. Oh, I see. Okay, the video is not, like, showing them being awakened. That's why I, I couldn't skim them. Stage one denial. We are searching the mind palace right now. Okay. So this night is you do the snowball and it's at the snowball. I did the snowball night. That's one. The next night Okay, the next night I got that one. That was the first one I did. A third night. Wait, no, this video only show. Okay, hang on. Okay, I I'm watching a video right now called "Finding the Four 
uh, Liam Lois Knights, and there are only timestamps for three of them. <laughs> I, I don't know what's happening. I feel like I'm being trolled. In the video description, it just says the fourth knight was here all along. What? Does that... Okay, I'm going to assume that the reason why some say three and some say four is that there are three you can find and one that you get automatically. That's the only explanation that makes sense. So I'm going to assume that I've already found them all and we're going to treat it like that. Yeah, Lila, if you want, you can link me this stuff. Up to you, otherwise I can just find it on my own. Oh, wait, I went the wrong way. I need to go here. So that was just one big detour at the end of the day. I'm gonna actually fight the boss now. Yeah, because, well, it's hard. Yeah, there's four, one, two, three. There's only four thrones. It's weird because they have, like, I guess in my mind that was, like, a chair back there, but that's, like, an ottoman or something for them. I don't know. So I guess, yeah, there's only four knights. I don't know why I remember there being five in total. I guess I just gotta get good then. Beat the shit out of chaos. That does a hitbox on it. I wonder if poison would be good here. So rude. Okay, and fucking kill this guy before his friends can do anything. <sighs> I thought I could sneak in a hit. He just took the spear and he is that what a chad, honestly. He just tanked that that like magic spear through his fucking chest and then continued to look directly at the camera. I mean, I may have gone really far out of my way and wasted a lot of my time, but at least I have... Okay, this is actually sick. Never mind, this was worth it. I mean, I, I won't wear this while fighting, but like... What a helmet. Nothing cooler than a helmet you just like straight up can't see out of. I think that's the strat you get your hits to leave. You wait for the, the lads to come save you. He dodged. No, that's... Oh, I comboed. I think this is going to be kind of tough. 
but I can do it. You know what I should have done there? That guy was on low health. I should have just tossed a throwing knife at him. I pulled out the crossbow. I, I do have this thing for a reason. I honestly feel like I just have to like pray that they don't target that most of them don't target me. Oh, because otherwise that shit happens. Yeah, this is a fucking mess. Fucking shoot that. Oh, he, he, he's blocking with 2 HP in the corner. <laughs> I don't, don't want to shoot him. Please help. Oh, I'm so dead. Okay, this is this is tough. You really just gotta play keep away. Ants on a log? It's a good aesthetic. Is there anyone in the world? How about me? Is this the final DLC? It is. And I'm I've explored, like, most of the area of the DLC. I need to beat this boss and then find a key to get to another boss. And then I'll be done with the DLC. Once I'm- once I kill that other boss. So I guess I'm, like, probably a little over halfway done, if I had to imagine. I, I gotta, like, pick my time to be aggressive and, like, really make the damage count, because you don't get too many chances to just, like, attack. It's another one down. It's another one down. We're winning. No, 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 no. no, I didn't realize he was following me. Oh, there's so many. It's like 
Yeah, there's five of us, but they get like 20. <laughs> yeah, I would I think Dark Souls 2 is a f is a, a more fun game when you level up. <laughs> Although I don't recommend doing level 1 for your first playthrough of any Souls game. Level 1 should be like your in my opinion like third at the minimum of playthrough. Like get get at least two good two good playthroughs in. And if you do Dark Souls 2 level 1, maybe don't do all bosses. It's a lot. <laughs> I am still having a good time. I just don't think this is for... This life is not for everyone, you know what I mean? Ow. I got one. Seems like if you act quick, you can get a kill pretty early on. On at least, like, one of them. That one. That attack from my friends did 18 damage to this guy. They need to they need to up those numbers. That like flame wall attack is rough. Oh <laughs> magic pixel, no pixel. Okay, I'm living. I don't know how. I'm gonna run over here and try to kill that guy. It worked. Running out of guys. Am I dead? Not quite. Okay, so it's me and these two guys gotta try to do what they can here against the remaining ones. Gotta sneak hits in when I can. I'm kind of out of time limit. Like these guys need to die before my guys die. At least some of them do. down. 2v2. I need to stock up on life gems. There's still, th there's a guy right in front of you. You're still throwing fireballs at me. other guy die? I think he might have. Alright, I guess it's just me against the boss. All that was to get to fight the boss, by the way. That 
whiffed. No! I was hoping I'd be healed enough by then. Well, at least I got to him that time. <laughs> he does open Oblivion Gate. I've, I learned a few things. One, he, he buffs. Two, I learned a lot of attack timings there. I feel like I'm starting to understand how the, the mob fight works. Oh, wait, let me go get some life gems. And you know what? Pulling out the Radiance for this one, too. You have to fight the Knights every time? You do. But sometimes, if you if I do good enough, I can keep one of I can keep the last knight, maybe even the last two knights alive. And then I it's like a 3v1 versus the actual boss. So while that does it does suck having to fight them every time, at least there's like some potential upside. up on him. Play mostly old school or any triple new triple A, a games I like. Um, I mean, I guess, I guess most of the new triple A games that I play are from games now that I think about it. The most recent game I played was Armored Core 6, which I still haven't finished. I'd say honest, I don't think that like I prefer old school games necessarily, it's just there's a lot of video games that have been made throughout the years that are good, and, you know, there's more past than present, if that makes sense. Like, there have been more video games made in the past than there have been in the last, like, five years, you know what I mean? I wish that every hit staggered them instead of every other hit. so many right now. This guy's gotta go. If I ever do online gaming streams? Not really, to be honest. I think it's more just because I tend to prefer single-player games, though. And if I'm ever playing online, I usually am playing online co-op with friends. Which, maybe there'll be streams where I play games with some of my friends too, but... that. 
I always roll after killing one of them because I just assume that there's like three more on my ass. I do have a Wiimote somewhere. Could be found if necessary. I think I actually remember where it is. I need it for Spider-Man 4 Wii. Oh yeah, I guess that's that's a good point. I think this is the last guy. So, okay, this time it's me and whoever this guy is. Quick, come up with a name for him and get overly attached. Steve. His name is Sir... <laughs> Sir Steve. <laughs> Sorry, Nero got there first. I gotta remember to buff later, because he has to do his, like, edgelord walk into the arena first. Oh, Steve! Oh, he is fucking Steve shit up. Oh, but he's fighting back. Never mind, Steve died. Steve helped. He got a couple hits in. sure that one shots me. I don't see why it wouldn't. Oh, that is a bigger explosion than I knew there was an explosion coming, but I didn't know how big. I'm alive. I'm dead. <laughs> he just, he... Doesn't that look like he's gonna swing way faster than he does? He like pauses in the air. That was the best one so far. I can do this. That was a good one. We'll get there. Like I said, I think I'm getting I'm getting better at understanding like when I can go in versus the knights, which is a big thing. I feel like I only have trouble with slow windups in this game, and I don't know why. Like Elden Ring it never gave me a problem really. And even then, not not every boss, like Fume Knight was fine with his slow windups. I think it's the ones that feel like they're like VCR fast forwarded, rather than just like a, a gradual winding animation. That's unfortunate. It's also, I just realized it's random which ones spawn, so like that one last time was a sword guy instead of an axe guy, who I think are way easier to deal with. friend I thought I thought it was Best build for level one. To be honest, I don't even know if my build is the best build for this. But I say just like stack it at as much adaptability as you can and get good iframe rolls as your priority. And then 
just like find a weapon that you can use that you like and use that. This one's not going as well as the other one. I feel like I'm I have to, I'm playing way more defensive because I'm getting hit so much more. No. And that just like turns into a something much worse. They're grouping up so much this time. Free enemy is viable. I'm alright. <laughs> I'll pass. That sounds like hell. It's, it's like 5v1 now. I'm de we're definitely not having Steve with us this time. If I can even win. There's no way this guy's living this. They do, I feel like they, they just choose like a 50, it's like each night is like a 10% chance for them not to attack me. Am I dead? It might be now though. Blocked it. Steve's still alive. That's kind of shocking. Let's get this guy out. Oh shit. No, Steve! <laughs> oh, he almost made it. He almost made it to the boss. That was so close. That hit? That hit? That's unfortunate. I'm, I'm still rolling too early. <laughs> Bonesaw doesn't need friends to win this fight, but like, wow, it would it would help <laughs> if, if he had a friend or two. Now see, imagine if I didn't go through the level of collecting the knights. Yeah, I would have to... It would just be me and one Steve. Versus all the, that, that whole gank squad. I figured this fight would be hard, but I actually don't... I feel like it's not that hard normally. Like, if you level, you can kind of just like have the stats to, you know, tank a, a lot more of the hits and play a lot more aggressive and then keep, like, two guys alive for the final fight. But here, I don't have that luxury. I don't know what happened, but that guy died. I think Bonesaw is a senseless murderer. These are all good guys. We were the bad guy all along. Oh, he 
this guy backstepping. I think the worst is when the gank squad plays defensive. <laughs> and, like, and you have to, like, just take it. God, they just all came out of nowhere. Oh, hello. I thought I could maybe play a little aggressive. You choose to fight without the knights. Uh, you always get one knight, but if you don't, if you don't find the other knights, then they won't be there, obviously. So, you always have one knight. I, I can't just like turn them off whenever I want. Not that I would, because like, holy shit, that would be a nightmare if I had to do that alone. Try something. I feel like those guys are kind of resistant to um, magic, so I'm gonna switch to the gold pine resin for some lightning. I actually remember how much damage I was doing, so... <laughs> that is so irritating, that, like, lingering hitbox. I dead already? Not quite. That was not the best start. What just happened over there? He like got staggered out of his hit. It's, it's like navigating a maze that I have to solve every time I get a hit. This guy over here has got to go. A worthwhile trade. The Cuphead. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. I haven't played that game, actually, but I've seen a bit of it. Might have to play that eventually. I almost died. I thought I was safe. This fight, you run through the life gems. Holy shit, I just realized we have two knights alive. I think we're gonna have two knights for the... Yeah. Steve and... Steve too. Both here. Wait, never mind. That... Steve 2 is leaving. It's just Steve. How much health you got, Steve? You doing good? Hopefully that was the low health one that left. 
Is Life Gems the only good source of health? I mean, there's your flask, but for like on the go health, if you plan on taking more hits, Life Gems are good because you can take a hit and it'll like keep healing you after you get hit. If you need like, I don't know, it depends, but I feel like Life Gems are on average better than your flask. Not a great start. I swear I rolled it. <laughs> that was, I was in such a good spot too if I could have just like lived that hit. <laughs> I don't think this will take the most attempts, but it, the attempts are like very long on this fight. You gotta, it takes like a few minutes to fight those guys before you can even get to the boss. Alright, squad. <laughs> Let's give it another go. I was experimenting with seeing if I have time to buff after I drop in, but I don't think I do. I want to get a kill on this guy, health so low, but he's like in the middle of the- he's got like a set of bodyguards on him. Okay, he's down. I'm just out here by myself with these guys. <laughs> My squad is all the way on the other side of the map. I feel like go after the one with the lowest health bar is not actually a bad strat here. When you're not getting ganked up, that is. I think this one's making it to the boss. I don't know if Steve's coming with. Maybe I shouldn't speak so soon. <laughs> There's still four of them. Three of them.
They all have names or just Steve. So in my mind, they all have separate names, but Steve is coincidentally the one who always lives to, to fight the boss with me. If they die before the boss, they're not Steve. Oh, you can do crits on these guys if you break their, their guard. That's interesting. Alright. Me and Steve. It does put a lot of pressure on you to, when you fight the boss, because it's like, it took, it took minutes to get here. <laughs> you know what I should do? I should put repair powder on. That just seems like a good idea. Me and Steve Rutsu. Steve's actually at like half health too. I mean, he's getting the shit beat out of him, but he's doing a good job at it. gaming No 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 okay next it wins And it's me <laughs> Let's go <laughs> Oh <laughs> I fucking did it dude That one was for Steve, motherfucker. That's for Steve. <laughs> oh, I'm like shocked that I got that. I thought that was gonna take at least a few more sh uh, tries. Let's go sleep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Wait. Yeah, I got the last crown. There's still ooh, there's still one more boss in this DLC, and I'm not looking forward to it. But first, get me out of here. Do I have over a million? Wait. No. Okay. I thought I had a million souls. I have 130k. That's still a lot. But it's not like I can level up with them or anything. I thought I had a, a million would be like the most anything in the series has ever given. Did I get? Yo, I did it. You've granted my one wish. Now, I have no regrets. I was born amidst the dark long ago. Okay. You gonna let me up the stairs then? Expect that. Just zoom so close there. Until 
I thought she let you up the stairs after this. There's a way to get up there, I, I guess. Maybe you have to kill her. Well, Bonesaw's no murderer, except when he is. So, I guess she'll stay up there. Just did like a, a soda commercial, like, ah. <laughs> It was just water, it was, I mean, it's good. Water's good for you. Okay, give me all the goo you have. Cheers. I don't know what else to buy other than just, you know, more life gems. At this point, I kind of have everything I need. I just, you know, need to keep my stock applied. Wait, hang on. You know what I gotta do? It's annoying. To put it in your box, you have to take it off your hotbar. I don't know why. There. Expert inventory management. Now, there's some... There are some, like, um... Like RPG speedrunners, some of their like menuing is fucking insane that I've seen. That <laughs> I was gonna kill Gilligan. Nah, Gilligan's a good a good fellow. All right, um, let's see. I need to ask Google how to get to the last boss of this DLC real quick. Voice bosses. William Lois Key. Maybe that's what I need. No. <laughs> I've got... Alright, I'm gonna... I'm searching too smart. Dark Souls 2, how to get to... to dog fight. <laughs> Lud and Zalin, that's what they're called. The frigid outskirts. How do I get there? Why is this so... It's so hard to find information about this game that, like, actually tells you what you're looking for. There, I know there's a door I need to get past, and I know I need a key for it. Expl okay, I'm like six links in. <laughs> I will get to what I'm looking for. I just... No. Okay, how to get to expulsion ch chamber DS2. I have not played the Resident Evil uh, series. Well, okay, that's not true. I played one and five, and that's it. Garrison Ward Key. Okay, I found the, the wiki page for the thing I'm looking for. Now it just needs to load. Okay, I must defeat it. From the outer wall bonfire. What in the world? This is like a this is like three paragraphs on how to get to what I'm looking for. I'm gonna alright, I'm going to a video. I'm sorry this is taking so long, but this will be shorter overall, I promise. Than like if I just searched around fruitlessly for it. I'm watching <laughs> a very, very heavily compressed video right now. Okay, they went... It's like a weird cave here? What in the world? Okay. They went 
there and then up the stairs through there. Okay, I think I have an idea on where to go. I'm back. <laughs> so I need to... I think I need to start from here. 2 and 4 are amazing, especially the remakes. I think my next step for Resident Evil is I want to play 2. And... Uh, and then play the 2 remake. And then just kind of do that for like the next few games. Because I think it would be kind of... I think it'll be neat to... It would be a neat... Because those remakes are pretty different from the originals from what I've heard. So I still want to get the original experience, but... Or is the worst in the series? I think that's the first time I've heard that take. I can't say confirm or deny because I haven't played, but... Yeah, I, all I know about that take is that it's a hot one. Yeah, I, don't, I get weird about longer series like that. Like, an example right now is I'm currently playing Final Fantasy 1, the original NES version, because I just... I, whenever I see a long series like that, I'm like, I want to see, like, how it got to where it is now, you know what I mean? So it's like, well, I'm like, oh, well, if I want to play Final Fantasy, I might as well just start the first one. Yeah, all I can say about Resident Evil is that I loved Resident Evil 1 and 5, and, com and I loved them in very different ways. <laughs> Resident Evil 1 was genuinely just a very good, like, super heavily atmospheric uh, game. And then Resident Evil 5 was, like, a really fun B-movie that I was playing through with my friend. Hollow Knight's another one. I played a, I played a few hours of it. Um, I think I want to play it by myself, but like like that'll probably be an off stream one. But I don't know. Maybe if it ends up if there ends up if I end up wanting to do a second playthrough, maybe I end up doing that on stream eventually. Okay, hang on, I have an idea. Because y'all aren't allowed to go into the elevator. I believe. So if I just, like, chill here for a minute, they'll all go home. Yeah, go home. And then I can take it a little slower. Like, seven on VR. That's a tall ask. That means I need a VR headset. I wish I had one. Tank controls were cheeks. This... Might also be a hot take, but I honestly really like tank controls in horror games. When done right. They can definitely be done wrong. But I think Resident Evil 1, the remake, did it very well. I feel like if I can just like 360 no scope all the enemies, then I feel a lot less afraid. I'm sad that I died that way. I didn't realize there was, like, another guy creeping up behind me. I thought he went home. Well, I just gotta do that, but better. <laughs> That's 500 fight with fists. That will not go well. We will soon see death 501. <laughs> Tell you what, if I get to a thousand and I remember, I'll do a thousand with fists. Whatever, whatever I'm doing then, I'll try my hardest. How does that guy, the guy who comes downstairs, I honestly don't know how he sees me. Ah, 
Oh. These guys. Wait. I didn't realize you could follow me. I'm dead. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so the other guy won't go up the stairs, but that guy will. He, he's The other guy, he's been trained on how to deal with stairs. Is there really no faster way to get there? I'm trying to go like... I guess not over, over there is my destination eventually, but I need a key first. All right, let's not be dumb here. Like actually just do it right. I feel like my last couple deaths were very goofy. Missed? That never misses. I, I would say as far as Dark Souls lore goes, I'm like... I'm pretty well versed as far as 1 goes. A bit less in 2, and even less than that on 3. But I would say much more than the average pl I, I would say I know a decent amount more than the average player would. But it's the type of game where it's like, there's so many levels to like, lore knowledge that like, compared to the real Dark Souls lore scholars, I still don't know shit. Like, I don't really... I like barely even know what the lore of like this air of like this this DLC is. <laughs> it's it's like a cycle until it's not. And that's kind of where Dark Souls 3 comes in. But yeah, the the nature of the series is very cyclical. Which I think works. Okay, back here. that guy out of there. Get you out of there. Alright, is this guy gonna... Oh, he is gonna come over. That's what happened last time. He got, like, stuck on that wall and didn't go home. But he's a coward. Maybe he won't come over this time. I love when the enemies get far enough away in the game, like, thinks you're not paying attention, so it just turns them to, like, 10 FPS mode. Oh, it was actually this guy, never mind. down. And I think I want to go through here, which is a bit annoying. And I'll, I'll get right to you. There we go. I think there's a guy, and there's, like, a dog somewhere in here. I see the dog. I see it back there. There 
we go. Just have to lure them out one by one. And now I want to go through here. And I'm, I'm taking this slow because I really don't want to do this again. Oh, hello. <laughs> Oh, there's a lot of you. I love that death sound they make. It sounds like the lady... What, what's her name from Courage the Cowardly Dog? It sounds like she's... She's been startled. It's like Mildred or something. Yeah, she goes, oh! <laughs> okay, now, I see why I never found those before, because you have to get through, like, all the ganks, and then you go through this way. This is where you're supposed to go. I didn't even notice this was a path. And then I think you need to light all these torches. Muriel, you imbecile. There's so much hostility. <laughs> How dare you not know Muriel's name from Courage the Cowardly Dog. Oh, this seems like a fun room. Let me just uh, preemptively get to work on this. Oh my god, there's so many in there. <laughs> Fucking death sound is so good. Hey, I heard this streamer doesn't even know who Muriel from Courage the Cowardly Dog is. Doesn't even know her name. Absolutely no respect. Get him. They have, like, super armor during their stab attack. That's weird. Who's winning? Jake Paul or Mike Tyson? Uh, who's winning is both of them, as well as whichever organi organization they put up with to charge people for watching it. Yeah, that's, that's definitely who's winning. I don't know anything about, like... I was gonna say wrestling. Is that wrestling that they're doing? I don't, I don't even know what type of fighting they're doing. <laughs> so, boxing, I guess, probably. So I'm not, I'm not the one to ask. It's like, this is the most obvious illusory wall of all time. <laughs> oh, I see. This is, like... It gets you verticality. And an item. Oh, I remember using the Bone Fist. I see. Can you get here? Can you get me from up here? Oh, is he coming? There's no way he can fit through there. He can't fit through there. If he comes walking around that corner, I don't even know what. Is this how you're... <laughs> Is this how you fight this guy? You just, like, wait for him to forget about you and then shoot him again? Alright. This seems to work. silly sounds in games. I agree. Especially when they're out of place like that. I do wonder if I should go down there and fight him. Because this is going to take a while. Hmm, another idea.
Wait, come back. Wait, does this work? Hang on. I, I could probably win fairly easily if I just, like, fought it, but... Now I'm, like, I'm, like, interesting in the puzzle of, like, the most efficient way to cheese it. He just leaves after that. <laughs> he doesn't care? Yeah, you care. Come back here. He's so... Th this guy is so over it. I am also, there is also the part of me that's being careful because I really don't want to have to do this all again. Just to like get this item. Sound effect designer. It's fun, I do a bit of fully sound, sound making. For, for my game. That's a good time. I don't think I'd want to do it for a job. Unless there's somebody who's hiring for a fully sound effect artist remotely who's listening right now, in which case I do want to do it for a job. I got it. That's what I came here for. I thought it would be... I thought I had to kill that to get the key. I would have... Oh. There's another one. <laughs> In that case, I will take my leave, since I got what I came here for. And now I will... I think I remember how to get to where I need to go from here. The Spider-Man 2 speedrun after the DLC. I, I'll, I'll probably be streaming more Spider-Man runs tomorrow. And I say promise, probably, because that's not a promise, but, you know, it's almost a promise. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to stream tomorrow and do some more runs. And I mean, I, I still, <laughs> you know, make no mistake, I still did runs last night. I streamed for like three hours. That's still a pretty decent length stream. That's like how long I've been streaming now. Let me hit the bonfire. Okay, I'm in. I mean, if I die here, that's fine. I would still like to not. I'm still gonna try to live. Who the fuck are these guys? Like, like what's your deal, buddy? Why are you could leave right now? Fall. Those are like anti Steves. That's what happens if Steve doesn't become an honorable knight, he becomes one of those weirdos. Honestly, yesterday did have a few issues towards the end, but like 
you don't know how bad it was. It, like years ago, like a couple, a few years back, like I would have capture card issues every single stream <laughs> or like internet or something. All right, let's go down the slide. This <laughs> fucking. This is like one of the goofiest cutscenes in all of Dark Souls. <laughs> Just go wee. And we're here in. Uh, from my memory, one of the worst areas in the entire series. Like, I remember this being hell. I don't even know which way to go. Like, I can't, I can't see anything. Does it get better? I just have to, like, I, I can't see, like, two feet in front of me at all. Okay, there we go. Need to go that way. Wi-Fi is awful. Yeah. My Wi-Fi right now is, like, manageable, but it definitely could be better. I can at least stream. I'm, I'm very grateful for that. So if I remember correctly, I should be about three seconds away from an electric zebra spawning and killing me. No? Guess not. Oh, there's one. Ow. How bad are you to fight? Can I just kill it? Seems manageable, but this is just one of the enemies in the area. Ow, that does so much damage, holy shit. Give me another life gem. I don't know, but that went out, that came out real quick. I'm gonna try running past it. I feel like. I remember that being doable. Cause it's it's a fucking jog to the boss. I don't know if I have time for electric zebra. I would at least like to make it to the boss once <laughs> tonight. I think I can do that. Maybe I can beat it tonight, that would be sick. Alright, I gotta remember like which direction relative to the coffin I need to go so that I don't have to wait for it to clear. I guess that's the gimmick of the area is one it's really big and two you gotta wait for like the snow to clear out so you can see where to go okay it looks like okay I want to go like what's that like I guess like eight or nine on the clock I want to go, because I want to go towards the building. God. <laughs> and I was complaining about not being able to see earlier. I can see, like, all the little smudges on my screen that I need to clean. No, there's not that many. It's not that, that dirty. Oh, God. Oh. I don't think I... Short of, like, receiving a million dollars to do so, or some comparable amount, I don't think I would ever do a 24-hour stream. I don't think that would be fun, other than, like, the idea of it. Like, it's fun to think about. But I I would just I would just be miserable by the end. I know that's kind of the point, but... Speaking of miserable, I have no idea where I'm going. Okay. 
Guess I'll go towards the big house. Can they come in the big house? Or are they banned? Oh, they're not banned. They can come in. <laughs> no. This is a mess. <laughs> what the fuck is this area? <laughs> I don't remember the visibility being that bad. What about a Spider-Man 2 stream with inverted controls? I already play with inverted controls. I guess you just gotta kill the horse. Or... I have... I think I have two options. I need to either commit to killing the horses. Or I need to commit to learning the route to run past the horses. And whichever one I do, I need to like hard commit to, you know what I mean? Because otherwise, if I if I don't, if I the the bonus to killing the horses is it'll be slower at first, but eventually I'll like learn. No. I'll learn not learn. Eventually they'll despawn, and I won't have to deal with them anymore. <laughs> But that would just take forever. I guess I could do that off stream a bit too. Did I go? I went kind of the wrong way. Did I? I'm just. I'm going this way. We're gonna find out what's this way. There were two horses, yeah. Oh good, there's more. I think I went the wrong way. I definitely did. I, I, I'm running against the wall right now. I'm gonna try to leave if the horse will let me. Nope. Okay, yeah, get me out of there. I definitely went the wrong way at first. Yeah, starting to remember why I never uh, killed this boss. <laughs> I, th I think I saw this area on my first playthrough and my second playthrough. And I was just like, well, I think it'll stay right there. <laughs> I was like, I'm good. So it's this way, right? I thought, I thought it was like... I thought I had determined you just go kind of left, and then you, you're headed the right way, but I think I did this last time, and I went was not headed the right way at all. So give me... let me... let me see. That is the right way. <laughs> Which way did I go last time? Probably, since those are like electric zebras, I shouldn't be using lightning against them. I'm gonna try to kill this zebra. Great start. What? That hits? Oh, this guy's hell to fight. <laughs> you have to play so patient, it feels like. That's one. <laughs> Is 
that another one? Oh. Yeah, there like is a direction I need to eventually end up going, but... Lived. Where even... This guy! This fucking goofball. I don't... I don't know how to dodge that. I'm being completely real. It just... It's just hitting me every time. It feels like it lasts... Like, it hits really early, but if I rolled when I would get hit, I still get hit. <laughs> Like, it, it feels like it has a deceptively lingering hitbox. I could be wrong. And my timing is just bad. You just got home from a concert? How was the concert? Yeah, we are still here. More than ever, I am temp I was tempted to like just summon whoever that was to help me, but I will do this summonless. Longer <laughs> than it needed to be. Are you describing the concert or the area that I'm in right now? I've I've never been to a concert of any kind. What the hell is this guy doing? This guy's attacks are so weird to dodge. I don't think I've ever dodged that attack. Until now. Alright, maybe- hopefully that was just download complete. Give me a second so I- oh! <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I was gonna say, give me a second so I can figure out where I am, but I guess I'll, I'll just never know. Also, when they stagger, they stagger for like half a second. Now, if I can take a second, figure out where I am, perhaps. Okay, that's where I came from. I need to go this way. I bet there's going to be another zebra here. Or maybe not. Nope. God. I couldn't even tell what attack it was doing. guys 
are a nightmare, and there's I know for a fact there's more too. But I think I just I'm gonna try running past him again. I'm gonna I'm gonna swap it up. Yeah, someday I'd like to go to a concert. Of, I don't know where I would go to. I think I just <laughs> want to go for the vibes. I mean, that's what you're there for, right? There's no way you're. I mean, I, I guess you're also there for the music, but you know, you know what I mean. Like we're in a world where you have like super high quality headphones and music and stuff, so you can listen to the song whenever you want. But you you want like. What you want is your eardrums destroyed, and to be really sweaty. I can understand that. That's the other thing, is I have very sensitive eardrums. Or at least my right one is. So I'd have to be very careful. Oh, why'd you scream really loud into the text, Nate? Hope you're there for the artist. Yeah, that too. See, now this is like the type of shit that happens in, the, in a nightmare, right? is like, you're in the snow, you can't fucking see anything, and there's an electric zebra that's chasing you that does not give up, and war will follow. this way I'm so dead or wait no it's the other way okay what Intel acquired it's the other way there's that's where the next building is this is where your zebra phobia comes from I think by the time I'm done with this, the next time I see a zebra, I'm just gonna run out of the out of the room. I don't know why I'm in a room with a zebra. I'm not I'm not even that like a zoo or anything. Assassin's Creed tutorial. Oh, you're like in the animus and shit. Who is this? Manhunter O'Hara? Sorry, I'm not hunting any men right now, I'm hunting zebras. By hunting, I mean running away from. Here's the thing is, like, even if the zebras were here, it would take so long to just run through this. I disagree that I didn't roll through that. This, yeah, this is the most, I, it's funny because for every, like, DLC I've been like, oh, this is the worst area in Dark Souls. I think it's this one. <laughs> I think this one might be the worst. Although, the one in Broom Tower, like, definitely is up there, too. I 
think I gotta fight them. Oh. Give it a few more tries. I want to see if I can come up with, like, a path that's maybe safe. I have an idea. I want to at least try the idea. What's even going on here? What if I told you that at the end of this area, there was a boss fight where you fight two of the cats from earlier that I fought? I don't think they're individually as tough as the one from earlier, but it is a dual boss fight at the end of this area. <laughs> I think this area was intentionally designed with, for, with, like, you to summon a bunch of people, but... My question for that is, or isn't that... That's the whole game. You're supposed to summon people in Dark Souls. <laughs> I'm here. So what if I go over here? And then like, find a wall and hug it? Maybe I'll avoid the spawns? I have another idea. Is it? It's not what I'm looking for. Would an electric zebra attack a box? Let's find out. Can I solid stake my way past this? No, they do not give a shit about the box. Alright, fuck you. Oh, I was kind of hoping that would work. It works- that works in, like, Elden Ring. The enemies will, like, have a hard time dealing with you. I'm just gonna tank this and kill you. I'm... sad. <laughs> that was still kind of a W, though, because that's... That's one down on their spawn counter. After you, if you kill an, the same enemy twelve times, they stop respawning. So like, I feel like that's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm just in denial of it right now. Little did I know, zebras are actually attracted to boxes and fucking hate them and want them to destroy them at any cost. My question, I guess, is, um... On top of all the other questions is... You know, like, like what is this area, but like... Why don't we just spawn in this first building? There's no danger until you get here. It's just kind of a jog to get there. Time to kill 12 zebras. Oh, 12 is extremely... ...underestimating the amount, because it's 12 per spawn. So... I'm probably going to be killing somewhere... ...in the dozens. Well, obviously in the dozens, but like... ...several dozens. One down. Alright, see a hazard. Thanks for stopping by. Here's a second zebra. I know you're here. Maybe the zebras just hate it when you walk. Run. Nope, that one that went real slow and he still tried to kill me. Oh, 
I really don't like that charge hitbox. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. <laughs> I I'm not a fan. It is very funny, <laughs> but the hitbox is is very large and seems to come out very early and last for a very long time. My only solace is that it's really funny that you'd have to get in the coffin and slide down every time. Who brings the coffin back? How does that work? It's Steve. Oh, if I... You know what they should have done? They should have let you take your, your knights into here. It, it should have been like, once you beat the boss, the knights move over here. And then... Uh, and then you, you can have you and you and the squad with you. That would have been cool. I mean, it still wouldn't have been the best area, but... <laughs> it would have been something. I'm like trying to wait as long as possible before rolling, but it's not easy. I feel like I'm like evenly matched with one zebra. I don't know which direction I'm facing, I gotta wait. Oh, hello. Like, what is that? <laughs> the hitbox started before he even like actually started running. I'm just getting my ass kicked right now. Please stop. This is bullying. This, this guy's been chasing me this whole fight, I think, and I didn't even notice. I accidentally killed him, I wasn't even aiming for him. Oh my god, every zebra is like a boss fight. Wait, this is a different zebra! <laughs> that one has full health. Oh my god. This place is hell. Yeah, I can like... I can beat one of the zebras probably like... Right now, I would say probably like 60-70% of the time. Two zebras is... Like, if, if I'm aware that two zebras are chasing me, I'm running. That shit is... That's not happening. Welcome back, Lila. I don't know why I put the buff on. It's just 2k souls. That's nothing to me. You just randomly slide in the coffin. 
If you ever see a coffin in Dark Souls, it's never a bad idea to get in. I can't think of a single instance. I can't dodge that, it's too hard. <laughs> going to like what can I do about that I guess just roll better that's like contender for hardest to dodge attack in the whole series for me now I wouldn't even be surprised if it's like impossible to dodge with minimum adaptability about killing 800 zebras. We might get there, we'll see. No, it won't be 800, but... It'll probably be somewhere in the realm of, like, 80. <laughs> if I had to guess. Hopefully. Hopefully there's not too many more after, like, this initial batch. What's up, Lila? Yeah, I'm like playing RuneScape. We're just farming. Farming zebras until they stop appearing. Oh, I thought I could get away from that. Toby 2 on PC got a model swap. That <laughs> that just makes me sad. <laughs> I know I should be happy for, for the Toby 2 PC enjoyers, but... That is, that is out of all games, you know what I mean? That could have been us! I guess Toby2 technically has a model swap. Technically. It's just, uh... It has its problems. Although, like I said, what I want the most is, like, custom levels. I want to be... I, I just want, like, that blender import, you know what I mean? Make me, like, a fucking Kaizo level to swing through. Custom maps exist. No, I mean in, like, Toby 2 console. And if you're telling me they exist on console, that's that's news to me. Daniel. I'm <laughs> being bullied right now. Yeah, if I'm ever talking about Toby 2, I always mean the flagship version, unless I say otherwise. That's just how my brain works. But that, I mean, good for Toby2 PC, you know? That's that's overall a win. Even though I wish that was us instead. Just being real. Bonesaw is ready. Bonesaw is, like, as ready as he's ever gonna be, I guess, to deal with this area.
dodged it. No, you gotta hit that, please. <laughs> oh. Bones, bone size. Very tired. All right, I'm gonna try. I have one more idea that I'm gonna try real quick to like not have to fight these guys. Yeah, it's, you have to roll, to, to avoid the charge attack, you have to roll at like the very last second at like, at like a specific angle. If you roll too early, you get hit. If you roll too late, you get hit. And if you don't roll at the right time, I think you get hit too. I could be wrong about that. All right, here's my idea. It's kind of like the box thing, but what if I just like keep hugging that wall? Maybe the zebra won't be able to deal with it. Bonesaw isn't really feeling it right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> does not appear to be working. I don't know if there's a way around them. They thought of they thought of the hugging the wall strat. Alright, let me try to kill them one more time. And if not, if this doesn't work out, I might, um, <laughs> I might do some research to see if, uh, people have come up with strats for this. Yeah, normally, you know, I'm, I am a Dark Souls 2 apologist overall, but I've, I have nothing, I have no nice words to say about this area, so I will say nothing at all. <laughs> Wall sprinter away. Yeah, if I could play as Spider Man, these this would be so easy. You saw the the electric zebra area, and you were like, "I want to play Liza P." Just thought maybe if I rolled away it wouldn't hit. Not true. Does that like zoning attack where I can't like the be wait for these projectiles before I can interact with them? Oh, it's so over. <laughs> this is the most over it's ever been. <laughs> Alright. Tell you what, um I'm gonna call it there for the night. But, 
I'm gonna get. I'm gonna figure out. We're gonna. I'm gonna have a training arc off stream. Off stream. <laughs> I'm gonna figure out what the plan is for these zebras, and come back, and we will figure it out next time. But I still got two bosses today. There's only there's four bosses left in the game. This is the last like actually hard boss here, or it should be. Um, I had a pretty good time. Thanks everybody for watching. Thank you to all of the uh, the channel members. Appreciate you all. Uh, but also thanks everybody for. I already said thanks for watching, but thanks for hanging out. And I'll be streaming Spider-Man 2 tomorrow probably. Like 80% chance. But. Yeah, see you then, hopefully. Uh, wishlist my game, links in the description. Thanks. Peace.